Baby blues. <laughs> That's cute. And I know what the red ones are called. The, the big red monsters or the big bad wolves. Or the big bad wolves. That's right. Is that what our shoes are going to be? Every time I put on the New Balance beacon, I ask myself, wait a minute. Why am I not wearing this shoe every single day? Oh, such a great ride. I only went three miles today, nine minute pace, just bopping along, but oh, I haven't worn the Beacon in two or three weeks. And it just is uh, oh, it's such a great ride, for, especially on my easy days. I love this shoe and yes, uh, let's say the live stream coming up on Wednesday, I will talk about how the shoe is holding up uh, the Beacon. So anyway, uh, everybody, welcome to the studio. That's right. The studio. A commenter about a week ago said, Seth, I think you should call your recording space in your shed the studio. Combining shed with studio, because sometimes I call this space the studio, sometimes I call it the shed. So why don't you just combine it together and then it gets even better. About 10 minutes ago inside, I was like, hey, hon, I'm going outside to record in the studio. And true love, the first thing that came to her mind was brilliant. The shoe. Shoe Dio. Anyway, I think it fits. If you made that comment a week ago, uh, giving that idea to call this space the Shoe Dio, let me know because you need like a free t shirt or something once they're ready. They're not ready yet, but once they're ready, because I like it. Welcome to the Shoe Dio. Okay, let's dive in <laughs> to marathon training. All right, my marathon block of training started January 1st with this run. First steps of 2019. Fast forwarding five days to January 5th, we discussed these specific marathon training tips. Another workout idea that I am going to use, I'm going to call it the cresting the hill practice, cresting the hill practice. It's very difficult to find a marathon that is completely flat. We and then finally, finally, flat. after going back and forth too many times on January 15th, I clicked the registration button for this marathon. Decision, I've made a decision, I've made a decision. May 19th, May 19th, first marathon, what's it gonna be? The Cleveland Marathon, oh baby! Okay, it was really hard, really difficult to figure out. It was it was it was a lot harder than I expected. Basically, yes, I'm hoping to run under 219. I'm just gonna say it. I'm just gonna say it. And I know the that's the Cleveland really Marathon, fast. the Cleveland Marathon, which is a pretty flat marathon, pretty flat marathon course. But if you've been following me on Strava, you're probably wondering, like, wait a minute, Seth, what are you doing? Why are you running so much in the snow and the hills and the mud? Thus far in 2019, I've laced up my shoes 28 different times for 163 miles, so 262 kilometers, with 23,000 feet of vertical gain and loss, because you go up the mountain, you gotta come back down, which is a little over 7,000 meters of ascent and descent thus far in 2019. Not too shabby, we'll take it. Now that I have a race on the calendar, May 19th, I think I saw it's 111 days. I should probably know that, but I believe it's 111 days away, which is awesome, but I'm not trying to get too excited. Remember, we talked about that a couple days ago. Enjoy the process. Enjoy the process of training, of going to the weight room, of stretching, of icing, of massaging, of just all those little things that we need to do as runners in order to stay healthy as the volume of running goes up and up and up. 
Okay, how do I feel about how things are going so far? Let me just say real quick though first, on Strava, and I'll just tell you right now, you don't have to be on Strava, but I'll just tell you like, what you're gonna see is a double peak before May 19th. So the Cleveland Marathon is my first really peak race of 2019 where I will be all in, fit as a fiddle, ready to rock and roll, um, rested up, freshened up, so really, really sharpened down for the Cleveland Marathon. Uh, but that's a long ways away. Like that's, and I'm really glad in retrospect, oh, I'm glad that I did not sign up for the Grandma's Marathon, which is in June 22nd, so kind of heading toward late June. And I just can't imagine kind of mentally waiting a whole nother month for the Grandma's Marathon. So I'm really feeling very confident and pleased with the decision to race May 19th as opposed to late June. Um, so that's still though, basically we're down to February, March, April, May. We're basically down to four months of training ahead of me. I've put basic, well, yeah, 28 days. So I've put four weeks of training in the book. And so in this first peak buildup, I won't be going like anaerobic really at all. Um, I will in the second peak, and I know that's a discussion for another day as far as how much anaerobic we should go before a marathon effort. But basically I'm trying to make as many aerobic bank deposits as possible in this first uh, peak before the March 9th vertical kilometer race. And I am of the opinion that the more aerobic deposits you can make at, frankly, slower paces, just slightly slower than what you might want to be going. Like already I am tempted to go out and run like 12 to 15 miles at 630 pace. But I just know it's not time yet. It is not time to go do that. Like I need to just be patient and continue to put these little bank deposits in right now that um, will over time end up being big a big bank deposit. Hopefully by May 19th. All right, I'm back. I just I just had to I had to stop the camera for a second and just pause and think and reflect for a minute and make sure like am I saying what I want to communicate to all of you? I don't want you, I don't want it to sound like I'm putting anybody's training down because guess what? I'm not your coach. Uh, I don't know. Like I, I you got to listen to your own body is what I'm trying to say. Like your own sensory data. Remember, you got to listen to the sensory data, how your body is feeling and responding to the stimulus of training. For me, again, I prefer that big aerobic base in order to hopefully build a taller pyramid later in the training block leading up for me to the Cleveland Marathon. And on this topic, oh, by the way, keyword, keyword, 26.2, 26.2, down in the comments. Uh, on this topic, a vlog fan sent me an article yesterday. I didn't get a chance to read it all, but I, I skimmed it. And basically, it sounds like um, Sage uh, Canada, who many of you know, he's trying to qualify for the Olympic trials as well. And, you know, he's maybe lost a little bit of his leg speed because he's been doing so much mountain and ultra running in the last you know four years um so that's interesting and i like I, I get it but then you look at a jim walmsley who is from arizona and jim like he he runs 100 mile races he's one of the best ultra runners in the world and he's one yeah he won western states 100 the most prestigious 100 mile race in the united states last year and he just crushed a 64 flat, six, one hour, four minute, uh, half marathon in Houston last week. Like, so this dude, he's like, he's got this incredible aerobic engine. And now he has been doing speed training in the last like two months. I've been, I've been uh, monitoring it a little bit, but I mean, we're talking, to, I mean, I'm just so impressed with that 64 flat given that he's such an aerobic monster when it comes to running high volume, uh, lots of vertical gain in his training, and yet he can go out and still pull off a 64 minute. All right, I'm gonna stop there. We could talk about Sage and Jim and the Olympic trials and all that fun stuff, maybe at the live stream. If you wanna bring it up in the live stream, I'd love to talk about it. I could talk all night about it. Holy smokes, gets me going. Uh, question of the day, question of the day. Remember when I asked this on December 31st, 2018? And of course, yes, the keyword is goals and that question of the day, what are your running goals for 2019? And so there you have it, that's what I asked you and uh, yeah, it's time for that accountability here on YouTube. How do you feel like you're progressing 
toward your 2019 goals? That is the question of the day. I don't think it's too early to just check in, just check in, not a major check in, but listen, January is almost done and February will be here in a split second. So that's the question of the day. Thanks for answering down in the comments and thanks for just, oh my goodness, we could talk about marathon training all night long. And again, if you have any questions about it, hit me up down in the comments, that'd be amazing. Or if you have a lot of marathon experience, definitely definitely it's your it's your time to shine down in the comments jump into jump into everybody else's uh questions if you feel like oh gosh i know an answer to that like oh because that would be amazing for helping me because listen i'm i'm learning as we go i'm learning as we go seek beauty work hard love each other mm. Woo! time for bed time for bed oh see you tomorrow